Well, a year has passed since Hurricane Michael ripped apart parts of the Florida panhandle, killing 45 people. At this moment, a year ago, the storm was passing over Mexico Beach, where it destroyed that tiny town on the Gulf of Mexico. Tonight, those who live there are slowly getting back to normal. 800 Size Ryan Hughes is joining us live in Mexico Beach right now. Ryan, I know it's been slow going over the past year. It's, it's kind of uh, normal when a hurricane passes through, but so much damage there. Good evening. That's the case. Slow for sure. Now, a home once stood here. This is all that's left a year later. You see these concrete slabs were knocked over by the hurricane. We just spoke to a local woman who lived to tell about it. This horrifying scene played out a year ago in Mexico Beach as Hurricane Michael blew ashore. Laura LaPlante lived through the horror. What was it like? It was terrible. <laughs> Explain. It was very scary. Um, the winds, just standing there watching out the back window, you could see the houses moving, blowing, Pew, they're gone. And there was a canal back there, so you could see the water coming from the canal, and it just came and just rose. It was halfway over the house. She rode out the storm with three others. They had one thing on their minds. Survival. Just what do I need to do? What do I need to do? You know, we went out in the garage, got some life jackets and put them on the dogs <laughs> and us <laughs> and put the cat and the, the lizard up in the attic and uh, we just waited it out. That survival mentality exists here today as people continue to rebuild. The mayor tells Eight on Your Side 75% of the town was obliterated and the efforts to get back to normal could take half a decade. Those here, like Dorothy Tipton, are determined. I want the little Mayberry by the sea back. You know, that's what everybody wants. So does Laura LaPlante. She's moving forward with lessons learned. Would you do it again? Never. 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 But I would have never stayed if I thought it was going to be a five, because the house that we had was built for a four. Now, Laura and the three others with her were all okay after the storm. She tells me she walked outside a year ago today and did not recognize anything in this town. Back to you. Ryan, I wonder, do you get a sense that everyone sort of feels that way, that if they had it to do all over again, they would have just gotten out? Uh, Jen, I'm actually told uh, a few dozen people actually stayed here. Those people uh, thinking they were very resilient, but now they look back on it and they see how precarious it was a year later. Back to you. Ryan Hughes reporting live for us from Mexico Beach. Thank you.